Yo, what is up guys, your boy Zin here, and I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial. Number one, for those of you who do know, I kind of like, have a lot of background noise at times, and hopefully this is the one time I can actually make a video like this. Like, literally right before I made this, or er, like, try to record this, I got like two minutes in, and then my dog started barking, and it was just terrible. So... I'm gonna try to make this fast. I already have my markers placed in on the beat and I have my clip ready. So I already split my clip and pretty much I'm gonna show you real quick how to split them, like when to split them. And you always wanna split them right when you see the hit marker of like when you get the kill. And then that's what I do, but you wanna do that for every kill and then there you go. So this is a triple headshot on standoff. It was my in my introducing. Alright, so for these, these aren't like directly on the actual beat. Like, I, I try to do this as fast as possible. This isn't like what I actually do when I make my montages and stuff. So, I'm just going to leave it like that because I'm pretty sure you only need five markers for this. So, you're going to get your first clip right here. And always before, because I already split these up, but before you split them up, make sure that... You go to switches, and it's gonna. And there's gonna be like a check mark on maintain aspect ratio. You wanna uncheck, just click it, and then you're gonna come down, and it says there's. It's usually on smart resample. Put it down to res, uh, disable resample. All right, so you come over here, and you're gonna get your first clip. And you're gonna put it at the first marker. You can get your second clip, and you're gonna put it at the second marker, or right there, like right there, and then. Um, usually there's like that but you want to make sure that it's not overlapping the markers so like this there's like a little overlap what you want to do is you want to hit control at the very end of the clip you want to press it and you want to bring it back and put it directly on the third marker or wherever marker it may be then like this it pretty much syncs up pretty much good uh, pretty much like pretty much dude like pretty much dude oh what what happened all right so control and then bring it back right there and it's it should be synced up i'm gonna play it real quick and i'm gonna try to play it at the best but i don't ha i have a feeling it's not gonna work good because my computer's like running really slow right now so let's see if it works like if it will play Let's bring this over here. I'm trying to make this fast. All right. God dang it! I'm just messing up like crazy right now. I'm trying to get through this fast so there's no background noise for you. Pretty sure there is, anyways. Honestly, you can't even see that. Like, that's actually terrible. Um, try to put it at draft. I did not mean to put that there. What the hell? Alright, right, that's, that's like the best it's going to do right now, and the beats, you can't really hear the beat in this song, because what, what Lowry doesn't like, have a high beat, like a beat you can actually hear well enough, so hopefully you guys like understood what I'm trying to do and how to do it, um, but when you're actually doing this, like, Sinking and everything make sure you have a, a disable resample maintain right aspect ratio is clicked off you have the markers directly on the beat and you split the clip just at the right point and always 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 render it and save it or save it first and then render it and yeah that's like pretty much it if you want me to do more tutorials then just let me know and I'll do some more but pretty much it's been it hopefully you guys did enjoy please leave a like comment subscribe if you haven't already it's been your boys in peace